This little worm might look like a cuddly underwater caterpillar, but let me warn you, do not touch it. One sting from this unassuming sea creature will have you writhing in pain for hours. Imagine you're a scuba diver enjoying a morning swim, and then, bam, you get hit with a painful sting that quickly radiates up your arm, and the burning sensation is so intense, you think your arm might fall off. So how does a tiny worm deliver such a painful sting? Could it kill you? And you've got to see what this little worm does during mating season to believe it. This is a bearded fireworm. Typically spanning five to 10 centimeters in length, these unassuming tube-like creatures make their homes in the lush coral reefs of the Mid-Atlantic and Mediterranean waters. They enjoy a quiet lifestyle, spending their days hanging out on the muddy sea floor and minding their own business. They can even change their dark red color to better blend in with their surroundings and hide so they aren't disturbed. Until they feel threatened, that is. That's when the claws come out. Or should we say, their spikes. Because if you brush up against a fireworm, you will definitely feel its wrath and understand how it got its name. The white fuzz covering the fireworm's body is made of tiny, extremely sharp spikes filled with venom. And it's no ordinary venom either. It's a neurotoxin. And researchers think it's a chemical cocktail rather than just one strain of traditional venom. So when you brush up against a fireworm, its tiny, almost invisible spikes break off in your skin and release the toxins. Immediately, you'll feel like it's burning you, and the pain can last for hours. Thankfully, the toxins from a fireworm aren't strong enough to kill a person, but I still wouldn't recommend getting stung. Along with the whole burning skin and sharp splinters thing, it can cause dizziness, inflammation, and numbness. So it's just not a good time. The spikes aren't just for stinging unsuspecting scuba divers, though. They're also incredibly useful. The worms use their spikes to help them move, dig, and as a way to anchor themselves into their surroundings. Fireworms only puff up and become venomous when they feel threatened. But if you think it's bad to get stung by a fireworm, imagine being devoured by one. They don't live in coral reefs just because they like the view. They feed on the coral too, and they don't do it gently. Did you know that coral reefs contain living animals inside the rocky exterior that we can see? Fireworms do. They eat their prey by wrapping their bodies along the reefs and biting off the tips of the shells. Then they suck out their prey's flesh, sometimes feeding in a single spot for upwards of 10 minutes. When they've had enough, they only leave a pointed tip on the coral. They also munch on shrimp, squid, and other crustaceans. And though they pack a mean punch, Fireworms aren't all bad. During the mating season, they're really quite romantic. Rather than hiding in the shadows like usual, the little worms swim to the surface in search of mates. That's when the show really starts. Fireworms are bioluminescent, lighting up their bodies to find one another in the water. The females create a green glow to attract the males, who show off in return with flashing light displays. All this and I can't even get a text back? Okay. Fireworms are a perfect example of why size doesn't always matter in the animal kingdom. Sometimes the tiniest creatures can do the most damage, just like fireworms do to us and coral reefs. If you're in the mood to learn more about some of the most terrifying critters alive, check out our next video on the most extreme creatures on Earth. They're seriously dangerous and put on light shows for their loved ones. That's what bearded fireworms do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures.